Hi friends, I am Mrs. Ragini. Today I want to show you my childhood recipe which I used to make it regularly when I am 8, 9, 10 till now. So this is for you my childhood memory. This recipe we used to call it as Puri chocolate. So you can call it anything, maybe this is familiar for you. So I want to share this recipe of my childhood with you. So let's start how to make this. Very very simple to make it. We need all purpose flour, uh, 1 cup or depending upon how much you want to take it, you can just take it. I have taken 2 cups of all purpose flour or this is 1 cup. In this add pinch of cinnamon powder. If you want you can add it, you can skip also. To give nice short crust, I am going to add some ghee. If you want you can add butter also in this. So 1 teaspoon of ghee and we are going to first mix this nicely and you can add pinch of salt also. By adding little bit water we are going to make it into a not too stiff dough or not too soft dough, medium tight dough. Here our dough is ready. So we are going to rest this for 5 to 10 minutes then we are going to make our puri chocolates. The dough is not too hard nor too soft just perfect. We will just rest this dough for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we are going to make the sugar syrup for our chocolate puris. So this chocolate puris are entirely different. I am sure after seeing this maybe you have your childhood memories too. My childhood memory I used to call it as puri chocolate. Now we are going to make the sugar syrup. Just add very little water and as per your taste or sweetness you can just add the sugar and we are going to make this like our gulab jamun syrup. Now here our sugar syrup is getting ready after 5 minutes we will just take this dough and just make into small puris just divide into equal portions like how you make your puris just make your regular puris. Then I am going to show how to make the chocolate. Just add little bit flour if you want. So here the puri is ready. Don't make it too thick, just thin little bit and now the chocolate. Leave the edges, don't cut the edges. As thin as possible you can just cut it in middle and leave the edges like this. Now we need to make the chocolate. You remember when we were kids, I am sure you all might have done it. After eating, we used to take the chocolate paper and we used to put some stone in that and roll the chocolate paper again back and we used to fool around our friends or you know our relatives. So the same way, now we are going to take this and just put it like this and get it together. and edges seal them like how you seal your chocolate paper see them freely like this they are separated now this we are going to deep fry it and then we are going to dip it in the sugar syrup and enjoy this this puri chocolates you can store it for a couple of days and you can give your kids you can also enjoy it so here i made couple of them if you want smaller size, you can make it smaller size. Some of my friends, they told they make this, but they call it as sampangi and gujiyas also. Dear friends, whatever you want to call it, you can just call it. But this, I call it as, I call it as chocolate puri. So now this is ready. We are going to deep fry it. So here friends, I made couple of them. If your puri is big, then you can get a bigger chocolate or otherwise if your puris are small small then you can get the small chocolates like this. So here the sugar syrup is also ready. Now we are going to just shift this and to deep fry the oil. So now the oil is hot enough just deep fry this. Make sure your oil is not too hot otherwise this gets color very fast. See how they are puffing up. Wow. Make sure you fold the edges tightly so that it does not 
break or it doesn't leave the edges make sure you fold the edges tightly like this see when you fry it should not open make sure you seal the edges correctly just deep fry it till you get a nice light golden in color then we are going to remove it and put it in our sugar syrup dear friends here nice color has come this should be perfect see nice light golden in color don't make it too brown this is perfect color some more of them just remove it into a paper towel and now this we are going to put it in our sugar syrup chocolates are nicely fried now here the sugar syrup put your chocolates in your sugar syrup like this and let it sit for a minute so that it absorbs the sugar syrup this chocolates when i was kid we always used to make for diwali's any festival we used to come we used to make because this is very easy to make just you need to make a puri cut give some gashes and then you can roll it your your chocolates are ready so this was very simple and very easy i always used to love to make this and now once it has soaked just remove it from the sugar syrup and place it on a plate i can feel this cinnamon aroma all the way here nice shiny shiny chocolates or otherwise what you can do is so here we can make so many ways you can just eat like this also but what i used to do when i was kid some i used to keep it just like that and sprinkle some sugar powder on top of it and we can enjoy in this way also yeah and little bit of cinnamon powder also on top of it so here both the ways you can have whichever way you like it you can just enjoy it mm mm, -mm. nice crispy crispy chocolate or what you can do is just place it in a tray like this and sprinkle some you can take some caster sugar and some cinnamon powder and mix together just sprinkle on top of it like this if you want you can do it if you don't want you can just skip it also not a problem just sprinkle it nicely i'm going to enjoy this puri chocolate with nice sugar syrup dipped mm i'm telling you kids would love this like anything please make it they are going to enjoy this chocolate puri like anything mm nice crispy crispy because we added good amount of ghee when we were mixing the dough wow very 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 tasty dear friends i hope you enjoyed this nice chocolate puri recipe please do try and feed your kids you can tell your childhood story about this and feed them so see you in another session with some more recipes